So in this problem, we're told how much charge flows from a 12 volt battery when it is connected to a 12.6 microfarad capacitor. So in this problem, we're given a capacitor. And so let's just write given. And so we're given that the capacitance on it is 12.6 microfarads. So we denote capacitance with the letter C. So it's 12.6 microfarads. And so we're also told that, or we're finding charge, right? And they also give us the voltage. So the battery connected to it is going to be 12 volts. So the voltage is uh, 12 volts. And then what we're gonna be doing is solving for charge. So charge, we need to know with the letter Q. So we can say Q equals question mark because that's what we're trying to find. And so what we know here is the capacitance of our uh, circuit here, or of the capacitor, and then we know the voltage of the battery and we need to solve for Q. And so we can relate these variables using the equation uh, Q equals CV. So we know the capacitance, we know the voltage, in order, in order to find Q, you just plug it in. So pretty simple. But when you do this, make sure that your units are in the correct, uh, the correct way. So this is in volts. And then if we want to find uh, the charge in coulombs, we need to make this in uh, farads, not microfarads. And so micro just means times 10 to the minus 6. So we can just rewrite this as 12.6 times 10 to the minus 6. And so that would be in farads now. And so now we multiply it by 12. That's going to give us uh, Q. So go ahead and plug this in your calculator. So go ahead and do that. 12.6 times 10 to the minus 6. And then multiply that by 12. And so what you're going to get is 1.512 times 10 to the minus 4. And then this is going to be in coulombs. So your charge, right? So they're asking the charge, how much charge flows. So the charge in this question is going to be, or the answer, 1.512 times 10 to the minus 4 coulombs. Uh, you can rewrite it in some in, with microcoulombs if you want. I'm going to leave it in this form. And then you can deal with the significant figures too. But yeah, so this is essentially how you solve this problem. And uh, hopefully you found this useful.